Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is a gorgeous sunny day. It's 68 degrees, about 1030 Saturday morning. I have a couple of errands to run. I had an absolutely awful night's sleep, despite the fact of having such a great adjustment yesterday, making spiny all nice. I had a horrible spine achy night and I don't even want to say night of sleep because I didn't sleep that well. So I ended up having uh, such a horrible night's sleep that I got up, well, I don't know, like three times throughout the night to just go pee because I was like, well, I'm awake, I might as well go. And the last time I got up was like before six. But then I was just wide awake. So I came in and I swung my iPad arm back around and started looking at the internet. And she's like, are you seriously, you're awake now? And I was like, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. There's no point in me trying to go back to sleep. I'm miserable. We basically stayed up. I might have like dozed off a little bit after that at one point, but we basically got up early and she had a headache. She has a headache right now. So, you know, it was just, a, it wasn't a good night's sleep for either one of us. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I need to go out and do these errands and stuff. Okay, so something exciting and different today, and I haven't filmed this in a long time. The International Kite Festival is down on the boardwalk. Well, not on the boardwalk, but down on the beach at the boardwalk. So it started at 10 where they could start flying and then there's shit all day. Not happy with my night's sleep. Not happy that my queen has a melon ache, but nothing that some coffee and some ice cream can't help later on. So we're gonna do that too. All right, first stop, Best Buy. Bean has been gotten. I decided to stop on my way back and get her a pungo latte and got myself a shot of espresso, but I'm gonna go home and fill that freaking cup with whipped cream because, all right. Let's go imbibe some bean with whipped cream. Look who got dressed and decided to go with me. So we're going to go down somewhat to the International Kite Festival down on the beach. We're going to watch people go fly a kite. Ba -dum -bum. Hm. Don't know where we're going to park because I don't know what it's going to look like, but we'll figure that out when we get there. But it is a gorgeous day still, 69 degrees, giggity, and blue sky and frolicking squirrels, and a very light breeze. Could get down to the boardwalk, and it could be 10 degrees colder, and uh, whipping wind. We'll find out. But onwards and upwards with the kites. Okay, so parking was a big fat no, but check this out. Lolly's has a new little place for seats and stuff instead of just a free for all in the parking lot with cars trying to get around people that won't move. Anywho, so we had to park eh, a few blocks away. But straight ahead is the kite festival because we can see them flying. But the problem is, is that this entire area in here where I normally get a spot and then I only have to walk like a block or two is completely under construction because I guess they're building some ridiculously expensive water park. Some of the Virginia Beach wall art. My baby standing on sidewalk art. <laughs> Yellow submarine.
Very cool, huh? Lots of fun, lots of happy people and happy doggies. I love Virginia Beach. There's nothing like some good hot sand. <laughs> kids it has been a, a pretty fun filled day we did a lot of stuff and a lot i didn't film obviously so we went down to the kite festival then we left there and we walked to prosperity bakery where they had delicious foods so we ended up getting a couple of slices of pizza and some drinks and then of course they had trace leches so i had to buy it because trace leches man so we got that for dessert then we ended up going home because we didn't want to keep the tres leches and the bread in the car. And Oh, and she got some kind of like oat bread loaf thingy that she likes. So we went home, dropped that off, and then we went back out. And we went to this, uh, it's not exactly a Birkenstock store, but it's a store that has a lot of Birkenstocks. And they didn't have what we were looking for. And then I did a search and it turns out that like right in front of us, there was an outdoor place that also sold Birkenstock. So we went in there and we looked and they also didn't have what we were looking for. So I actually tried a pair on just to get the sizing correct. And then I'll probably order us what we're looking for tonight online because we're not going to drive all over the Timbuktu looking for Birkenstocks when we could just order them and probably have one Monday. So we did that. Then we left there and they opened up a brand new Goodwill right like two miles away from us that was right in the same neighborhood. And we went there. It's a it's an actual drop off point and a, a retail section. So it's so new. It's clean and nice and everything. So we went through there. OK, so we did that. Then at that point, I kind of felt like she was done for the day because we did do an awful lot. So I dropped her off, came back and I was sitting here and I was thinking to myself, I really like it's 3.30, I should go to Pleasure House Point. I'm pretty tired though, because we walked around a lot and I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. And I thought, okay, well, I still have some errands to do. So I went to Target to pick some things up. And while I was there, I was just like, ah, fuck it. So I bought all the stuff to make tacos and we'll have tacos for dinner tonight. So that's all you get for today, but wasn't it fun? Okay. so. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.